So we're obviously holding the Republican Town Caucus tonight for Williston. And uh, I'm, I'm Cindy Roy, as I know all of you, um, the town chair. So we're going to go ahead and open this, but then we need to pick a chair and a secretary just for the caucus portion. So. Um, and the caucus is to establish the town committee. That's all it really does once the committee is established. And I assume everybody here, plus a couple of us, then people not here are going to yeah. want to be on the committee and vote on that. And then vote on the officers. And then the caucus chairman will start things going at the town meeting by getting the chair of the town party elected. So we'll go ahead. Why don't, Bruce, why don't you. Um, you open the meeting. Open, you want me to yeah, go ahead. Okay. So first order of business then would be to um, elect the chair for the caucus and open to nominations. I would nominate Cindy Roy. Can we okay. do that? You I can. will. Okay. You can. We'll second that. Okay. Any further nominations? I wish I had brought my flag so we could have said the flag. Oh, yeah. We can say it no, right there. We'll say it before oh, the town meeting. Yes, we'll we say should. it. We'll say it before yes. the second meeting. Good, good, good call. Absolutely. Yes. Good call. Okay, any further nominations? All right, nominations closed. All in favor of Cindy Roy being the caucus chairman? Aye. 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 Okay. And we need the secretary? Now you do the secretary. Okay, that's right. Because now that I'm the chairman, we're going to take nominations for the secretary of the caucus. So who would like to be secretary? It's for just the caucus portion. Anyone? It's just really to sign off on the documents. Okay, Peggy. Go ahead. And I nominate Peggy to do that. Any seconds? I second. All right. Okay. So you're now the, oh, all in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Aye. so Peggy. Aye. Aye. How are you? Did I vote on you? Did we vote on you? Did I skip that part? Yeah, we just, we did. Okay. <laughs> it would name us. It would name us? <laughs> All right. Okay. So then the next thing. Yeah, that's right. So the next thing is that we we close the caucus, right? We have to elect the town committee now. Oh, we elect, that's right. We elect the town committee. Okay. So for the town committee, I have a group of names. Can I nominate those names? Well, just list them, then we'll see if any, any other folks want to Okay. Them. So for the town committee, I have Joanne Simmedinger. She is um, on our email list, and she asked if I could please include her. Um, and she can be included even if she's absent. So Joanne. Um, and then Zach, let me get, would you like to, you're on the yes. town committee because you're here. So let me just get your name down. Okay, so then I've got Zachary Bennett, John Marcotte, Cindy Marcotte, Sharon Ray Quinn, Pat Boyden, he said he'd be very happy to be involved even though he's not here, he can be voted on, Peggy Widmeyer, of course, Bruce and Cindy Roy for the town committee. Does anybody have anyone else that has, that has been identified to you that would want to be on the committee? They had to have said they would like. Did Fran to. want to be on it, even though she's not here? She hasn't know? said, but we can always add her in a okay we'll just, yeah. in a later meeting. We won't put somebody on the committee without their permission. Well, that's, exactly. That's the problem. Yeah. That's yep. And I don't have Fran's. Yep. I'm sure she would, but I don't have her right. input. That's fine. Yeah. And I think it helps when people attend too. Yeah. Yeah. You know. So, is there anyone else hands. that you guys know of or? Okay. So. How do we do this? I would just read the list and then it's told to vote. Okay, so here's the list and then we're gonna go ahead and vote. And this is the town committee. Joanne Simmedinger, Zachary Bennett, John Marcotte, Cindy Marcotte, Sharon Ray Quinn, Pat Boyden, Peggy Widmeyer, Bruce Roy, and Cindy Roy. So I move we accept those names as representatives on the town committee. I second all those nominations. Okay. So. It's vote. vote. Aye. 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 Okay, it's unanimous. <laughs> unanimous without the two that aren't here. Yes, exactly. Okay, so... So the town committee's formed. Yep, so that is what we needed to accomplish. And now you close this meeting and open the... Yep, the so time. now I'm going to close the caucus. And I guess I need to... Anybody move to close it or... Yep, I move to close the caucus. I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.
Okay, the caucus is closed. Now, as the chair of the caucus, yes. you open the town meeting, and your first order of business is to elect the chair of the town committee. And do we want to do the now, Pledge of Allegiance I in between? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yep. Good call. Start. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. I pledge Our allegiance to the, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank you for reminding us. Thank you, Ms. Sharon. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so now I can open the town meeting, right? Yep. So I'm opening up the town meeting, and what we're going to do is elect the officers. And that's um. Well, you elect. We have to. Is it? This is kind of a formality, but. There, I have to be elected. You have to be elected. Then you, as the chair, mm -hmm. run the meeting, not as the caucus chair. The, the yes, chair. as the town chair. Yeah. So, how do you vote on me? <laughs> you open nominations. Well, actually, you, yeah. You, okay. you were voted in. Right. Right. I think we have to do it again. Do yeah. Because yeah, she was right. the interim. Yeah. While we got to hear. Right. Okay, so I guess um, I nominate Cindy. Thank okay. you, Zach. <laughs> and I second. I, mean, I guess all in favor. No, nope. I'm right. Hi again. Hi again. Okay. Right. okay. I'm back. <laughs> you didn't go anywhere. Here I am. Okay, so now we are going to vote on, and there's a, a sheet that I have to kind of guide me here. Is we're going to vote on the town vice chair. Replacing, yeah. Replacing yes, Sharon. The, thank you for your service. Yeah. Yes, thank you so much, Sharon. And I, can I make a nomination? Uh, yes, you can. Sure. So I would like to nominate John Mark Hutt for vice chair. So would you be willing to accept that nomination, John? Yes, it's one vice I don't have yet. So <laughs> <laughs> and I second. No, no, okay, no. and all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We have a vice chair. We have a vice chair. Okay, um, so the next would be the secretary. And I have another nomination. Peggy, would you be willing to be secretary? Is both jobs the same? Your, the, oh. your first job is over. Your first job's over? You're done. Yeah. Your first job is over. You're done with the caucus <laughs> work. <laughs> and you did an excellent We'll see you in two years when we do another caucus. Right. Yeah. So, so you're now a retired caucus secretary. <laughs> so are you willing to do yeah, the, okay, the town committee secretary? And take minutes at every meeting. Uh, I, well, I'll help too. We'll, we'll get some help. We'll all help. Yeah, we'll, we'll pass it around. So it's it's a team thing. Yes, <laughs> it is. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Unless, Sharon, unless Sharon's yeah. doing it, then she does it all by herself. <laughs> so, um, uh, so I'm, I, I, I'm nominating. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You nominate Peggy. I'm nominating Pe Peggy Woodmeyer for secretary of our town committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, Peggy. It's official. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we have uh, treasurer. So, for treasurer, um, is anybody interested? And we, the, the, I, mean, I think it's Cindy can actually be the treasurer. I, I can be the backup. And she's actually on the checkbook now. She met with with Brett, and Brett officially transferred the checkbook over to her. Um, certainly, somebody else could be treasurer as well. And added to it. But I don't think it's necessary. The, the rules say that out of the four positions, three are to be three have to be different people, and the vice chair and the chair can't be the same person. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. legally, yeah. if there's no interest in any somebody else being the treasurer. But if somebody would like to be treasurer, that's that'd be fantastic. No, but I'm already on the checkbook, so I'll continue. So you would be the treasurer then? To. No. <laughs> no treasure. So Sharon, we are going to have to re-add you, and the reason is because they had to close out that phase oh, of the account, okay. and then to be able to get it done, we had to just do okay. it on the spot. So, okay. but I'd love to add you too, just yeah. to have a backup. So, yeah. okay. Have, we don't have a treasurer. Is there anyone who wants to be treasurer? Otherwise, I'll do it. I nominate Cindy yeah. to be our treasurer. I would second that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Roy. All in favor? Roy. <laughs> yeah. Roy. yeah. All in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. So we've got that done. done. So I think were those the main things, Bruce? Well that's then now the starts now it's the um let me see. It's 
we did the town committee. Mm-hmm. Uh, do, 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 got three. I think now. Oh, it, the delegates. Yeah, who who oh, yes. of the town committee would like to be a delegate to the county committee? And I, I actually started a list, and I think it's everybody. Zach, would you like to yeah. also? Okay. So let me just put your name here. Now the only person I mean, we don't know if Joanne wants to, so but Pat has expressed interest to be a right. delegate. You Pat did. So I did not Joanne is just on the town committee, but if she wants to be added to the delegates, we would have to so, ask her. So why don't you let me read the yes. names. So Pat Boyden, he's not here, but he said he would be very willing to do that. <coughs> um, Sharon, I have you, Peggy Winmeyer. Uh, myself, Bruce, John Marcotte, Cindy Marcotte, and Zachary Bennett. So, um, we can, so I nominate. We can nominate all the names together, right? right? We can always yeah. add more as the committee grows, and and uh, I think that's it. How many do we have? There's a lot of slots. I, I it, it's like more than something we can like fill. Something like fifteen or twenty, is there? It might. It might even be more. It might even be thirty yeah. something. Really? So, we're fine on that. Yeah, <laughs> I've been on in a while. I've yeah. attended many meetings and and had. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and um, so I, I'll nominate all the names that I just read. Yeah. Any second? Second. Second. Okay. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. Now another point to make now: um, these names will go into Janet Metz at the county level. Um, is there any? I don't know how many Janet will pick from Williston to represent at the state committee um, so if anybody's willing to do that when Cindy gives Janet the delegates name she can also indicate to Janet who would be you know offering their ability to be on the state like I personally would want to what I'll yeah. do yeah. so what I will do is I'll ask Janet how many we get for the state and then I can send to this okay. our group here our committee and just see who's interested uh, okay or it could we'll be pretty one. limited who knows okay so we'll do that okay great does that cover everything? Yeah, so the bottom line is we've got the, the checkbook all straightened with Brett moving on yeah. and then me being treasurer and so on. So yeah. Perfect. So it's the new business. Yeah. And is there any other new business or anything else anybody wanted to bring up? I have a couple little things for after the meeting. But anything anybody wants to bring up as new business or something of interest or um, just anything to questions? So I, I don't have anything. Okay. Because then we can adjourn and then we can just check out. Yeah, yeah, Zach. Um, I was going to say I um, actually talked to the Racial Equity Commission at Williston yesterday oh. about their Abenaki land acknowledgement. Okay. And um, yeah, that no, was very interesting. I think a lot of the, if you look at the land acknowledgement they're trying to pass, it has a lot of post colonial and like Marxist language in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I raised, I actually wrote them a letter and uh, they actually, we, I met with them yesterday and we t they talked about it and I basically told them why it was, for a variety of reasons, a very bad idea and uh, mm -hmm. they deliberated on this, they will see how that, that goes, so. Do you get a sense they're gonna make some modifications as I result? think so, but yeah. they seem perceptive and I'm, I'm like, I, I teach early American history, that's oh, like what I study, nice. so it's a, it's a thing of just, um, good intentions but also kind of a lot of the the kind of current moment that we're in mm -hmm. and I think with a lot of the political statements that the town has been making which I just think are unwise um, mm -hmm. so I, I met with them recently oh, trying to who knows how much they'll well, listen. Well just being involved yeah, yeah. and yeah. just showing yeah. up and yeah. giving feedback that's great. Yeah. 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 That's the more really that great. we do the better right? And with yeah. your expertise to yeah. back yeah. it up. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. For the facts. Rather than me just pounding on the table. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> coming at, come at it with facts. <laughs> and where do you teach? Uh, Norwich University. Oh okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. That's quite that's great. It's very yeah, good that we can have it. What? It's very good that you can have a civilized conversation you know, talking about facts and stuff like this, you know, and, you know, have an exchange of ideas is very important. Exactly. You know, but it can't always be one-sided, and it, it needs to be done in a very uh, respectful manner, like it sounds like you did, and that's, yeah. I think that's kind of what we try to do when we approach issues in town. I True. think so, with facts. Sure, you know. Bruce is always fat, you know, I'm going to bring the facts. Right. I mean, one of the things I've done when, when Facebook has, has become a candidate and, just, you know, kind of, kind of mouthy on Facebook about stuff is when somebody gets personal, I'm done. I mm -hmm. shut down. Actually, there's a fellow, and I won't mention his name, where I had an interesting Facebook debate with him about, and at one point he got personal, 
and I said, you've lost all cre credibility, and so I'm done with you. Come to find out the other day, he has now blocked me, which is good, because I don't see his stuff, and he doesn't see my stuff. I'm, I'm right. quite happy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Good well. it's a good way to filter them out. <laughs> yeah, we don't try to be exclusionary, but sometimes it's the best course of action. Yeah. The Inclusionary works much, much better. Totally. Yeah. Definitely. Well, good. Keep us posted on that. Yeah. Do, do we want to yeah. change the dress oh. code? I mean, let sweatshirts and shorts be okay? Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's, I'm, I'm, around, I'm around, Roger. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Actually, I had one other um, thing that just hit me is how often do we want to meet? Yeah. Um, I, I know we put a really long hiatus on the meetings because we had had elections and everything last year, and it was crazy. Dismal. I, I know it was a you know it was a tough time. So, I'm cry but if you lose any more. <laughs> <laughs> do we want to do once a quarter, or you know? I would think to start with once a quarter would be good. Yeah, we don't want to and overdo it. We get closer to the elections. Yeah. We can get a little closer mm -hmm. together. Well, I think you know, kind of once the year turns over, it'll be the election year, so it'll be kind of a different feeling then. So thinking once a quarter, how does that sound to me? That's and we so can good. just try to, and, I'll try to book here. And then as the election gets closer, we can, we can. Yeah, we can more. definitely Ramp meet up. more often. Yeah. yeah. Right. Because yeah. we're, we're, you know, we're going to want to do some level of recruitment, you know, so we don't have. Absolutely. We, so we have everybody running for a spot. We don't want, you know, want that to fall through the cracks like it has with a lot of conservatives running in Vermont. So. Yeah. yeah. Start addressing things early. Right. The so, whole plan and, you know, as we know, the whole ramp up takes time. So speaking so of that, we ran into Greg Thayer yesterday at uh I see at Greg the Gallicotti's. The Gallicotti's, yes. Yeah. Our, our, he ran for lieutenant governor. Yeah. So yeah. he's a great guy. He, well, he, great guy. He's he, a did, he didn't get the nomination. Joe Benning got the Republican nomination, yeah. but, but oh, that's right. But Gregory was after was, was one of the guys running for the lieutenant governor. But it was fun to see. Good him. guy. Yeah. So, so do we want to set a tentative meeting for like January? Yeah. So let's or, see. Um, we December are in just September, seems like a busy October, month. November. But maybe I mean I don't care. I am available December, January. Just we probably ought to put a tentative date. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. What are, what's everybody thinking for? You know, we could do early December. It's before the holidays hit, just as a kind of a touch base, but nothing you know too involved. Right. Just to get together and yeah. maybe we'll bring. Is there any a, political activity that are happening of of of? of note between now and then? Nothing I know of. I can keep my eyes open, but maybe, you know, it could be the first or second week of December. We'll pick a day. We can, I, I mean, it's a fairly small committee. We can always call a meeting if there seems to be a need. Correct. But yeah. If we have a tentative, early December might make sense, and yeah. then we could shoot for maybe March. Yeah. yeah. Next early December meeting. is going to be more of a touch base and then yep. we'll kind of get more into it after the year turns. Well, it works well, for me. I mean, you're looking at March of next year, that's when the discussions will start about who's going to be on the primary ballot, right? Yeah. It's coming around that fast. That's going to so. come really fast. Right. Yeah. So, okay, let's, that's good. Let's, let's do that. So is that work for you, Zach? Yeah. Kind of um, early December? Okay. Early December, yeah. Yeah. So it'll just be an evening like this here, probably at the library. Yeah. Same idea. Okay. So right. the week of the week of the eleventh, the week of the eighteenth, probably the eleventh. We don't do it too close. Yeah, to the eleventh. Week of the eleventh. Kind of Tuesday or Wednesday. So that'd be the. And I'll I'll send an email to our committee so that you guys can yeah, all. Yeah, Tuesday works for me. Wednesdays don't. Oh, that's right. Church, church night. Yeah. Yep. So we'll do a Tuesday. Tuesday How about that good. week? And I will send an email out to everybody to see if that works. So Zach, you're Zach. the ZM Bennett. Yep. Ten. Yep. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> All right, so I think, is there anything else anybody wanted to bring up? Uh, yeah, did anybody see the awful news about what CV was going to do? No, I didn't Just see. Just like Westford. No, uh, what? I mean, uh, we'll have to discuss yeah, that in the future. That's, yeah. that's an important issue. Yeah. Well, no, I'm going to tell it right now because I'm so ticked off. Well, I'm just gender identity. Um, in the restrooms and sports. Do you want to wait until we adjourn yeah. the meeting? Because then yeah. we won't. Well, let's just get, get too long. Get just what, what's going on is that there is the the Champlain Valley School District is trying to establish a policy yeah, for yeah, transgender um, transgender rights at the schools, as far as bathrooms and locker rooms and that sort of stuff. So, it's in policy right now. So we all have a chance as citizens to influence. It at school board meetings. Um, I, I, I've been active on Facebook a little bit on it, more on more the fact that I, I, from a perspective of parents have a right to be heard in this whole situation. And, and an article I read from Vermont Digger didn't really highlight the fact that parents were involved. So it's something for us to think about and get, you know, get comfortable with what we think that policy should look like 
as, as, as individuals, for sure. I don't, I don't know if we want to make a statement as a town committee, but certainly yeah. well, as individuals. Let's, let's um, next meeting we'll get into it. How about so we can close out the caucus and the town meeting for this time, and um, then in December we'll have another opportunity. So, okay, so how do I adjourn this, Bruce? <laughs> I, I move to adjourn the meeting. Yeah. Okay, I second. second. Okay, all, all in favor? favor. Aye. 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 Short and sweet. <laughs>